Uh, all right, nerds. How many of you have never come to a Woodstock before? Show of hands. Wow. <laughs> Lie oh, new blood. Okay. You lovely, wonderful, amazing people are in for a suffering. Which, by the way, is the name of my Justin Bieber cover band. <laughs> right. That's right. Starting off strong. Setting the bar sorry. low. Right. Those of you who are unfamiliar with the Woodstock tradition, it's time for the very last song of the night. When I say that, it means there's probably a good 70 or 80 minutes left tonight. <laughs> or thereabouts. So, before we get into this, a massive, massive thank you to all of you for coming here and selling this son of a bitch out for us. Yeah. Uh, this is, Thanks, everybody. This is our fourth Woodstock at San Diego Comic-Con, our third time here at the Balboa. We love it here. We hope we never stop doing them, and we hope to see you next year right here in this theater. Agreed! So say we all. Here, here. Roar. So say we all. <laughs> Bully! <laughs> Excelsior. <laughs> I say, is there some fancy talk going on here on the stage? No, 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 yes, indeed, there's a uh, fancy talk happening. No, 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 no. Are uh, you remember in one of my many expeditions to deepest South West Africa, the yes. fancy yes. talk did begin. Yes. Yes. I believe it was the bank seems to have made an error in my favor of $50. <laughs> you know what you oh. Yes, I dare say you might advance to go. I'll be taking a ride upon the reading. <laughs> By the way, uh, Dr. Wheaton, I don't mean to... Uh, cast aspersions upon you, but I do notice you are drinking your beer, and your pinky finger is decidedly not raised. Yeah. <laughs> I believe, sir, that your gaze may have fallen upon a portrait of a younger version of myself, who did in fact drink his drinks with a pinky placed at the bottom of his hand, rather than out, because there was a time when young me was in fact a savage. <laughs> Go, 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 backstage bro. boy, I require further libation. Yes. Ah. Thank you very much, the fancy people sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we, we just made that up right now. I know, it's hard to believe. I know, right? Especially because that is not a test at home, we are game. professionals. <laughs> Can we get some more Jason in yes. the monitors? Jason in the monitors, please. Go ahead, make some more noise in your mic. Da, 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 da. And the drums. I am impressed. Nice. Ah. Was that good for fixing my vocal? Was that good? Okay. All right. That was here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is 11.04 in the evening. And we've only just begun. <laughs> Which is too easy to do as a cover band. Yeah. <laughs> it is time, I do believe the old clock on the wall says it is time for a song about a pirate! Start the clock! Start the motherfucking clock! For those of you unfamiliar with the deal, I don't know who that would be, but just to be safe, when we cue you during this next song... Settle it's down, not a cue. swarthy swabs. It's okay, it happens to everyone, it's perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> when we cue you, let forth with an enthusiastic, nerd rage style, piratical R, like this. Hit us two times. Arr, arr. Hit us pie times. Arr, arr, arr. That's the most accurate one yet. Yeah. The precision of this crowd is astounding. The end of that R was slightly irrational. <laughs> It's gonna be that kind of night, is it, Savage? Uh, I'm just wondering what fucking mathematical proof is slightly irrational. <laughs> There's a little bit of entropy. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. It'd be great if we could reduce the entropy. <laughs> I don't know if that's 
that's really, I mean, you know, the whole entropy with the, okay, sure, yeah. great. I can't, <laughs> wait, I can't wait to go, up and go home uh, after the set and, and research all of this shit. Uh, <laughs> what you can do is look up the relevant XKCD and it'll walk you through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Richard Feynman is just waiting to educate me. My favorite, favorite part about Woodstock is that I can make a relevant XKCD joke and two-thirds of the audience is like, oh, my God! Yeah, only, only, I make that joke, too! Only here is an XKCD reference and applause line. <laughs> and the other third of the audience is saying, I thought of that joke first. <laughs> Repose! <laughs> it is... 11.07, we have not even begun to start the song. I don't think we've gotten to the first chord. Oh, no, 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 I corded okay. it. Okay. I corded. Yeah. Let, it, let us uh, practice one more time. Oh. Arrgh! Is it my hearing aids? I didn't really hear that one. Let us try that again for the benefit of the elderly gentleman on stage left. <laughs> Arrgh! That felt good. Well done. It's all about you, isn't it, Adam? <laughs> In my brain, it is. <laughs> Ah, wow. On behalf of Woodstock, thank you again for an incredible show. It is really all about how awesome you guys are that we have so much fun up here. I hope you've had half the fun that we've had, which means that you'd be a quarter as awesome as, I don't know, math. <laughs> yeah, checks out. Okay, what? yeah, good. Slick talking, Johnny Physics. <laughs> Slow down that kid. <laughs> How's my balcony? I think the answer is wooish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> they had rehearsed something up there. <laughs> yeah, they're rehearsing a lot up there. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Colorado. <laughs> or are we? Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> that would be awesome if we had like managed to just like dig up this entire building put like engines, silent engines underneath it, and move everyone to Colorado during the second half of this show. We've certainly so, had time. So basically turn Woodstock into crawl. Yeah. yeah but, <laughs> and actually by the time this song is over, we will have been able to have moved the audience from Colorado all the way back, back to, to San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah. Yeah. And Via the Far East. <laughs> That's great. All I need to do is get my glaive Chrome. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna. It's gonna be all crawl all night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nice I, glaive, Savage. I Wake hope. me up when you get it chromed. Are what? those jewels real Swarovski crystals? I don't know. I'll have to ask the widow of the web. That's right. I hope you're all from 1983. <laughs> Which is if you are, I'm gonna days. fly my Zardoz face to land on your lawns. My Zardoz face. <laughs> that's the creepiest euphemism I've ever heard. And that's coming from Adam fucking Savage. I know. Zardoz face is what I named my boner. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a fucking rim shot? Not bad, Wheaton. Not bad. Not bad, Wheaton is what my wife calls my boner. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points, Griffin Yes. Yeah, I, I would like to apologize to our son who's in the audience, but I'm not going to. I, I do believe Will has won the House Cup this term. And he's drinking from it right now. <laughs> Winning the House Cup is Will's euphemism for sex. It's true. Sometimes I come home and I'm like, who's ready for spicy dick milk? <laughs> And his wife is like, geez, I wish once he could capture the fucking snitch. <laughs> That's right. You want to throw it down? Do you want a piece of me? Have a Harry Potter rap fight? That's right. <laughs> I don't actually realize that Quidditch is basically uh, it's a long extended metaphor for the attempt to define the clitoris. That's very interesting. <laughs> this, this is the worst theatrical version of Eight Mile I've ever seen. 
Good luck getting into the room of requirement tonight. <laughs> Something, something leaky cauldron. All right. There are potions for that. <laughs> last, hey guys, guys. Last week, I got to go down Diagon Alley. <laughs> oh, what? That's the one that broke the camel's fucking back? Okay, I got you people now. As long as you leave the so camel's toe so intact, everybody's the camel's back is fair game. Them. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one finds the wizard, Harry. You are correct. All right, it is 11-12. We still haven't fucking started singing. Practice yet one more final time. <laughs> On behalf of Woodstock, thank you all for coming out. This last song is called The Captain's Wife's Lament. <laughs> the... Ship sailed into harbor after 15 months at sea. The captain hit the tavern with his crew of 53. Oh! That's you. Oh! Give me an R. Oh! What's that spell? Oh! Pirate SETs not be very difficult. <laughs> Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> this is a far introduction. <laughs> For pirates. <laughs> Are you reminding Paul? There we go. It's pirates. 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 pirates, 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 pirates. Right. Shit. Yeah. Crew of 53. <laughs> After drinking up their pay, they staggered through the town. You know, the thing about being a pirate... <laughs> Shh! I have to, I want to say, it's important. Is you're on the boat... for a long time... having sex that God can't see. So when you get back, oh my god, you guys, I just realized that if we were on a desert island, we would be the desert. I loved this episode of Next Generation. This is from the Make It Now, right? <laughs> or, you know, Garmok. <laughs> Wheaton on stage right when he pretended to be drunk. Well, pretended. <laughs> I don't feel strange, but also good yet. But I'm getting there. <laughs> That's a fucking t-shirt right there. <laughs> more strange, less good. Wait, no. More, more good, less strange. 11-14. What are we, two lines in? Two lines. Oh, boy. How you doing back there, Jason? Oh, I'm sorry. You woke me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to wake the Jason. That's somebody's band, come on. <laughs> Are you a foreigner? <laughs> sure, foreigner, give me a foreigner for another one. Jason Bonham's finest hour. Definitely. <laughs> Jason Bonham was in Foreigner? Yeah. Really? He's, he's currently, probably tonight, he's in Foreigner somewhere. Yeah. Wait, this Jason moment, Bonham, yeah. John Bonham's son, is in Foreigner now? My dog's name is Bonzo, after, obviously, John Bonzo. Yes, he's in four... How do you not know this? <laughs> oh, excuse me for not being up to date on the movings and shakings of Foreigner. <laughs> totally feels like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this moment in rock drumming history is brought to you by Zildjian. Zildjian, fine makers of symbols. Also brought to you by Boone's Farm. I'm true, as you can see, I am a Sabian man. I've been a Sabian man since 1994. Thank you. Sabian. <laughs> Delicioso. <laughs> you just paid for your trip to San Diego? <laughs> I, I, I haven't paid for a symbol for, for 20 years, and it's because I don't ask for very many. Is it 
Sabi and the company that made the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? <laughs> no, they're the ones that make that chair that ladies sit on. <laughs> I had no I'll idea. I'll explain it to you later. Ah, uh, now I know why you're a Sabian man. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm, I'm the only Sabian man. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's possible. I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Let's bring things back into the body morning. of the song. Which was, remember when we were singing a song? Me neither. From uh, after rigging up their pay, they staggered through the town. But all the inns and public houses turned the sailors down. Dejected, Dejected arm. 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 Oh, that's a lot of sad pirates. It also sounds like we lost them a little bit, like they're really dejected. <laughs> Are you sad? Are you dejected? Are you dejected because you're sad? <laughs> and are you sad because you're dejected? <laughs> sad, sad section oh, right now. Arboros. <laughs> the snake Ask beat your neighbor. <laughs> when you're losing the audience, the trick here is to get more esoteric. <laughs> the opposite of that's everywhere my, that's else that's in the world. That's my Todd Rundgren cover, man. Uh, Storm, put them, put them through some uh, emotional paces. They said, yes, right? yes, you were very good at, at, at that particular emotion. Let's see how you do when we put you to the test. <laughs> Let's hear a, a hungry R. Arr! Uh, let's hear a zombie R. Same thing, but focused on brains. <laughs> Give us a, um, uh, let's see, a confused R. Give us a Scooby-Doo R. <laughs> Same thing, extra brains. <laughs> Today I learned Scooby-Doo is a zombie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> And he would have gotten away for it, too, if it wasn't for you and them woot stalkers. <laughs> would have gotten away for it if they weren't the fast zombies. <laughs> oh, don't get the fucking fast zombie, slow zombie shit started. We're already going to be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll climb the stage like ants. <laughs> Some of us are veterans of the Star Wars, Star Trek war. We can handle the zombie fast, slow war. You people with your slow, fast zombies. Oh, you think you've had such a big fight. <laughs> you have no idea. You just sit there in your little post-Jar Jar world, and you feel all safe and comfy, and willing to argue about stupid bullshit like zombies. Got Some of us have really been through the shit, man. <laughs> Guys, I hate it when old man Wheaton starts talking about his time in the war. <laughs> I spent that time in the war so you can complain at me. Just head on down to the Starfleet VFW and talk about it. Oh, don't worry. Friends. They'll hear all about this. <laughs> hey, hey, man, have a good poker night there. Yeah, have a good poker night. <laughs> uh, Three-dimensional poker, thank you. <laughs> That's how we do it. I do believe we left off, oh, so very, very long ago at Dejectado. The captain said, fear not me, lads, you all can come with me. I live just around the corner, and you all can stay for free. Hopeful R. What kind of socks you like missed? Argyle. What theater are we in? The Balboa. <laughs> Who came out on stage at the very top of the show? <laughs> and what did he destroy? <laughs> and my heart. <laughs> my heart. heart. <laughs> and Neil Gaiman art. I'm sorry, I got over enthusiastic. <laughs> Who be your favorite Starfleet ensign? Dude. Way too fucking long. 
That needs to be an animated GIF by three this morning. Well, oh, it's, no, it's done. It's now. It's on. It's it's done. It's now. It's the top link on Reddit now. What was, it? What was that? Adam? No, he was uh, signing the lyrics. <laughs> That's right. I was signing the lyrics to fuck her gently. Thank you there very you much go. for picking that up. Thank you for finishing the joke. <laughs> That is Well, one. that was the most dejected, dejected R I've ever heard of. Yeah, so we're just kidding. <laughs> that is one sad myth buster. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get for that, I'm gonna give you back the rim shot that I was gonna penalize you for for Balboa. <laughs> so no a, rim shot here, but we're square. This is such a complicated scoring system. I feel like I'm, <laughs> feel like I'm playing like musical cricket. I've gotta keep track of this all loaded on wine, too, so it's, it's what other myth bustard did we see this evening? And who came out to read her awesome story about gaming just a short while ago? Yep, there's lots of names that end with R. <laughs> What's your favorite Star Wars character from Mon Calamari? It's a trap. <laughs> a trap. That is a thing that he said a lot. <laughs> Self rim shot. The Empire spend a lot of money on, but decided not to guard their little exhaust port. And who is your least favorite character from the entire Star Wars universe? <laughs> always, always unanimous. Yeah, do you, sure. do, we did this thing. Jamie and I did this thing for Discovery. Of Jamie and Adam have a pint and talk about movies, which was weird because we never actually do that. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but they asked us who our favorite characters were, and I said, well, actually, I'm not sure if I have a favorite character movie, but I can't tell you my favorite non-human character is Chewbacca. Chewbacca! Yes. Chewbacca! Chewbacca, Chewbacca yeah, sure. the greatest non-human character ever, and Jamie followed that with, I hate Chewbacca, he's no better than Jar Jar. <laughs> Jamie Heineman plays a dangerous game. <laughs> Storm, Storm, give me a little pensive uh, guitar music. Pensive music. Just like pensive picking guitar music. And kids, that was the day that I learned that all the years I had spent watching Mythbusters were years that I really wish I could have gotten back. Because though Jamie Heineman is incredibly skilled in scuba diving and blowing things up and is probably the very best automatic Wilford Brimley cosplayer that ever existed in the history of the world. Well, Jamie Heineman just didn't understand Star Wars the way every other person in the world does. <laughs> Made things awkward when I'd go to dinner parties at my friend Adam Savage's house, but somehow I think that when I invited Jamie into the back patio and hit him in the back of the head with a shovel and <laughs> buried him under 400 pounds of rocks, I was really doing the world a favor. And kids, that's why Ashton Kutcher is the new co-host of Mythbusters. <laughs> Strange picture. It's the strangest Wonder Years closing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. I still never learned how to talk to Winnie. And that's how I met your mother. <laughs> what you do? Uh, where the fuck are we? Uh, lost. Oh, 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 lost. Somewhere over the Pacific, working our yeah. way back to San Diego. <laughs> it's 11:25. Let's wrap this shit up. Were we at Hopeful R? Is that where we're at? I think we were. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Hopeful R. <laughs> but when the captain's wife awoke up on the break of day, they say that you could hear her wailing clear to Bonnie Bay. Fucking noobs. I swear, it's really hard to find good audiences these days. <laughs> At these rates, anyway. <laughs> okay. We're gonna count to three. Yeah. No, you know what? You just lost your turn. God Where damn it. Where are they? Alright, everybody shame that guy. No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. No, 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 no. No, he's 
you know, he can't, well, he's punished himself enough. But when everybody else gets to go R one last time, you do not. You, are, you have to punch yourself in the face. Yes. Whoever, whoever's sitting near that guy. Sorry, man, it's the law of the sea. If they try and make noise when it's time to R, you may punch them in the face. <laughs> you have official legal permission from the founders of Woodstock. Uh, legal, actually, the permission is not actually permission. Legal permission may not apply. <laughs> Please do not punch him in the face. It's a metaphor. Ask your doctor if the owls is right for you. <laughs> if your erection lasts longer than four hours, consult the doctor. <laughs> the usual reaction to being punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. If your captain's wife's lament lasts more than 45 minutes, please see a doctor. All right. We're going to count to three. Most of us are going to do one last star. And we're going to finish this goddamn song. All right. Everybody? Shh. Wow, they got actually quiet. Yeah. The, the riddle and spray finally kicked in. <laughs> The Riddle and Spray finally kicked in as my New Kids on the Block covered it. <laughs> say there's been a distressing lack of cover bands in this particular I was going to say, that's a nice show best of you out there. Well. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, uh, we didn't have a picture of it, but uh, the Paul and Storm organization all has, also has a brand new shirt for sale. Uh, it's, it's the blue shirt up there that says, I endured blank minutes of the captain's wife's lament at the blank Paul and Storm concert. It comes with a magic marker so you can update your stats. <laughs> all right. 11.28. Let's close her down. You guys ready? You guys ready? Oh, I'm ready? I was born ready. Let's do this shit. Oh. One, two, three! Oh. She said there's semen all around the bed, semen on the floor, semen in the bathroom and behind the closet door, there's semen in the fireplace, and semen in the hall, the living room is covered in with semen wall to wall. Oh. You excited that <laughs> We'll see you at the stage door. <laughs> I ne'er can do it to see thee darken up my door. So clean up all your semen and come round my way to more. So clean up all your semen and come round my way.